Welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video and this time I'll be doing my nails. So of course the first thing that I'm doing is just going in and pushing back those cuticles. Remember that you can use any type of cuticle pusher whether it's metal, wood, or plastic as long as it can be disinfected or disposed of. After that, we're going to go in with this Melody Susie nail drill, and I'm going to be using it at number 7, and I'm going to go in with the sanding bin, which is the 180 sanding bin, and I'm going to go in to remove the shine from the natural nail. So as always, going around the cuticle area, going from the right side all the way over to the left side, going back and forth until you remove all of the shine. Remember, this step is super, super important, because if you do not remove all of the shine, you will get lifting so again on this e-file I'm using it at about on number seven uh, that is the Melody Susie nail drill I do have a promo code for them which was Natalie and I'll be sure to leave all of the links down below so you guys can go check them out so after we finish removing the shine we're gonna go in and just dust the nails off and then I'm gonna go in with the nail tips now I will be having these nail tips available on my website on the next restock I don't have a date on it just yet but just know that it's coming and it's gonna be bigger than ever so uh, remember that whenever you're applying your nail tips you want to make sure that you measure them correctly you want them to fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall so I'm just going in with this one and just uh, filing the size to make it fit perfectly because the one before this one was a little too small and then this one was a tiny bit too big so after it's the perfect size I apply the KDS glue place the nail right on my fridge hold it down and then in just a few seconds it is completely dry and you can move on to the next nail so same thing measuring the nail making sure it fits exactly from sidewall to sidewall apply the glue and then place the nail on your free edge and make sure that when you're doing this you hold your finger super straight that way the nail does not go on there crooked Alrighty, so I finished applying all of the nail tips and of course they're already that coffin shape so I'm gonna leave them this length and shape and then I'm gonna go in with the JC Beauty Concepts acrylic system I'm also gonna be using the green out of this little set and of course I do have a promo code for JC Beauty Concepts as well so I'll leave that down below I'm gonna also go in with the JC Beauty Concepts primer and I'm gonna apply that on the natural nail only and then after that, I'm going in with my number 10 Oval Brush by Alpha Brush. I'll leave that link down below. But what I'm going to do is just go in and do a thin coat of the clear on all of the nails first. And then I'm going to go in with the green and then the foil.
Alrighty, so after I finish applying the clear on all of the nails, I'm going to go in with this green on the ring finger. So just place my first bead closer to the cuticle area and then very gently brushing it down towards the tip. I'm going to go in and apply another bead right below that first one until we get a nice coverage. And then I'm going to go in with the JCB to Concepts Clear to encapsulate this and also the reason why I did the clear underneath is that way next time you know whenever I do a feel even though I'm not going to keep this set on but you know say that I was supposed to do a feel next time um, that way I don't have to take the entire set off I can just file away the colored acrylic and then we'll still have the clear underneath um, I know a lot of people don't do that a lot of people just rather remove this the entire set and then do a whole new set but I personally don't like doing that but you know to each its own <laughs> Um, but yeah anyways we're just going in and like I said getting a full coverage of the green on this ring finger and then gonna enca encapsulate with the clear Alrighty, so next we're going to go in with the Model 1 foil glue and I'm going to apply that on the tips only. Now, I believe this is like my first, or one of like my first times doing this. So I'm going to do an ombre with the um, cheetah print on the tips. So that's why I'm just applying the glue on the tips and this glue you do have to cure for 60 seconds. So after this I'm going to go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds under my Melody Susie UV LED light. And then after that we're going to go in and apply the foil. And then I am adding all of the codes um, to the video and then I'll also add them down below in the description. So after curing for 60 seconds I'm going to go in with this foil and I'm just going to go ahead and place it on the nail make sure it's nice and flat R rub it with the tip of my finger and then once it's on there really good I just go ahead and remove the foil and then the transfer foil stays on there really nice and smooth now one thing that I did um, do wrong which you guys will see is that after you apply the foil, you want to make sure that you go in there with a top coat over the foil because I didn't do that. So whenever I go in with the cover nude acrylic, it's going to kind of ruin the foil on my thumb. And I didn't realize that until I had already started doing it. So you will see me go in and correct that. But again, after you do the transfer foil, go in with a top coat only on the tips over the foil and then then go in with your acrylic um, since I'm doing an ombre you know I'm going in with the JCBD concepts acrylic at the back um, but like I said don't you know do as I say and not as I'm doing if that makes sense <laughs> Alrighty, so I don't know if you guys could really tell, but on my thumb there was a spot, like basically just a clear spot, and that was from the um, monomer getting on the foil. So now I'm just going in with my Get Nail 32 gel top coat. I'm applying that on the tips only, and then I'm going to cure. And then for the thumb, I'm going to go in and do um, another coat of the transfer foil glue, and then I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds, and I'm going to try to go in and do some more foil to cover up that clear spot that I created with the monomer so after I cured for 60 seconds going in and I went ahead and did the acrylic on the rest of the nail so and I'm sorry about that y'all my camera 
cut off after 30 minutes and I forgot so um, just going in and shaping up the nails now but whenever I did the acrylic on the rest of the nails I literally just did the cover nude at the back and then after um, I did that I just encapsulated all of the nails with the clear and that was pretty much it so really nice and simple but remember if you're gonna be doing the ombre with the foil make sure that you do uh, the clear acrylic and then you do the um, glue and cure for 60 seconds and then do the foil and then do your top coat and cure for 60 seconds and then you can go in and apply um, whatever acrylic you want but now I'm just going in and shaping up the nails I'm using my 8080 hand file I'm following the sides and the free edge add exactly a 90 degree angle and make sure that as you're doing this you're holding your file really really straight that way you get that perfect coffin shape um, and we're going to do that on all of the nails and also make sure that as you're following that you're watching your nail because you definitely will be able to see this shape change as you're doing that so same thing for all of them falling going from the sidewall towards the free edge and then doing the um the free edge at a 90 degree angle as well and i like to hold my file at a vertical angle when i do that but whatever works for you is completely fine Alrighty, so after we finish um, reshaping the nails, I'm going in with my fine drill bed and we're just going to file all of the nails making sure that we get rid of any bumps and lumps and most importantly that we file around the cuticle area really good. That way we don't get any lifting. Um, you also want to make sure that there is no gap in between the natural nail and the acrylic because any water, any just type of moisture that gets trapped underneath will cause the nail to lift. So I'm going to do that on all of them as you can see all of the nails are pretty nice and smooth So I don't really don't have to do much filing over the entire nail That's why I focus around the cuticle area and then file um, you know as needed So after we finish filing all of the nails, I'm going in with a buffer and I'm just going to buff all of the nails really, really good because this is going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file. So you want to make sure that you never skip this step.
Alrighty, so after that I just wiped the nails off with an alcohol wipe and then I'm just going to go in and apply some bling on the ring finger. I really just like this green as the accent color. I don't know why lately I've just been liking green a lot and I just thought it was really pretty. Now this set was inspired by someone on Instagram so I'll be sure to leave their information down below because their work was really, really good. Um, but yeah, so other than that I'm just going to be going in and applying a gel top coat and then um oh yeah i forgot to mention but the glue that i'm using to apply my bling is the soleil nail adhesive and then i will have the bling kits on my website again on the next restock as well as those wax pencils Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. As you can see, they turned that really, really pretty. They're super shiny. I love the cheetah print and that green accent nail is just to die for. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at getnail32 and I will see you guys next time.